Jets don't win the AFC East, will Rodgers be the reason? Well, he'll definitely be a big part of it, but I'm not going to even go there. I'm going to address Chris Canty. Mm. What he Chris has to say. That's what I wanted to do, I'm but just, I felt like I had to follow the just, rundown. Well, listen, but. listen. Chris Canty is is brilliant. The man knows mm-hmm. football. He's a champion. We all know the credentials that he brings in. He's not – he's factually what he's bringing up to make his point. He's not wrong. Chris Canty's not wrong. But here's the problem. First of all, we ain't talking about Aaron Rodgers, the leader. We talking about Aaron Rodgers, the player. Hello. He got injured four snaps into the season. Mm -hmm. It ain't like he was on the football field and we watched the Jets be the Jets last year. That was Zach Wilson at that quarterback spot. You want to blame Aaron Rodgers for something? Here's what you're blaming for. Why the hell is that damn Nathaniel Hackett in that building? <laughs> That's what you're blaming for. Okay, the Randall Cobbs, uh, you know, not, 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 so, I mean, he, he, we know what, uh, what well, credible. Well, Tim Boyle you know, was but, there because Tim, of Aaron. And, and Tim Boyle is there because of Aaron. That's what you blame Aaron Rodgers for. Understand that. All right, so you're going to ask the question, well, why would you be held hostage to, to Aaron Rodgers? Because they're the Jets. What the hell have you had to fall back on if you the New York Jets? For every year or two that you get to an AFC championship game, you spend a decade and a half being in purgatory. You have been a moribund franchise for so long, we forget half the time you're in Florham Park. And then when we're reminded of it, we're happy about it because we don't want you contaminating the borders of New York City. This is how bad the New York Jets have been for, for the better part of the last five decades. 1968 is the last time the New York Jets were in a Super Bowl. Think about that for a second here. Broadway Joe to this very day, as in Joe Namath, is arguably still the most popular New York Jet ever until Aaron Rodgers arrived last season. That is how bad they have been. Excuse me? Who was on the Jets roster the last time they went to the AFC Championship? I don't even remember, okay? The point that I'm trying to make, (laughs) the point, point that I'm trying to make is this. When you look at the New York Jets... All I'm saying to Chris Canty is, you want to lament Aaron Rodgers and what it looked like in his last year in Green Bay? That's cool. You've done that before. Other people have done that before. Hell, I had to call him out once or twice about that. That's one thing. But we know he's a bad brother. This brother can ball. And if he were healthy, we know good and damn well the New York Jets would not have looked like that. So, in closing, if you're Canty, it comes down to this. It comes down to this. Aaron Rodgers on the field next year gets an opportunity to debunk all of that. Because I don't believe Chris Canty would have been able to say what he said if Aaron Rodgers was on the field this season. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Before you guys jump in, this is what I deduced, essentially, from what Canty's saying. That Aaron Rodgers cares more about Aaron Rodgers than he does the team. Okay. So his decisions are at the expense of the team. Okay. And I'm saying to you, that's absolutely right, and you have a big-time point if Aaron Rodgers is on the field and all of this is happening. We can't knock Aaron Rodgers for wanting what he wants if he was on the field and the pro- level of productivity would have been higher. That's all I'm saying. Chris Canty, if, if the New York Jets, with Aaron Rodgers healthy, had gone to the playoffs last year, mm-hmm. would Chris Canty have been able to say that? No. That's but, my point. It's not even about him not playing. First of all, Aaron, what he's talking about is the Aaron Rodgers we saw in Green Bay. The Aaron Rodgers we've seen in Florham Park is, has looked like a different guy from a leadership standpoint. Yes, I understand he only played four snaps of last season. But as somebody who was at training camp, we've been to training camp, where we have experienced being around this team and seeing the difference in how, not just practice, but how, got, how the confidence, how the building feels. When I've talked to Quinn and Williams, Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, like, uh, like Brees Hall about the, the type of guy Aaron is, they are all in. So I hear what Canty is saying about Aaron Rodgers, like why are the Jets beholden to him? Because they have not seen a quarterback this talented in we don't know how long. That is why, because they haven't figured it out any other way. You mortgage, you basically, you're putting all your chips in for Aaron Rodgers, and I'm good with that. But this team on paper could win the AFC East, and it could contend for a Super Bowl. On paper, but I think Chris is a that that was a was a bit too harsh for me. Aaron Rodgers is on the field. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks that we have ever seen throw mm-hmm. the football. And I know people want to talk about the Achilles, and yes, that is a factor. 
But you put Aaron Rodgers back on this roster with all the moves that GM Joe Douglas mm -hmm. has made, mm -hmm. and you going and and so and people will say that this Jets team isn't going to be one of the best teams in the AFC this year. You got to well, be. We can say I, that. I, hold on, hold on, y'all. But I think it's important that. to point this out. Listen, here's the deal, man. You're Aaron Rodgers, okay? Now you're going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're going to San Francisco 49ers. You're going to a plethora of teams throughout the National Football League. You're not going to have that clout, regardless of how great you are. But when you're going to a moribund franchise like the New York Jets, who should be thanking their heavenly stars, you even looked at them, let alone signed with them and decided to wear their uniform and enter their facilities, excuse me, you're going to cater to and capitulate to the wishes and desires of your star. Now, you might sit up there and say, as the GM, there leaves a lot to be desired. No question about it, because don't get me started with Nathaniel Hackett. Don't get me started with what NFL teams are saying about how archaic and pedestrian the, Phil the New York Jets offense is. It's one of, it, it, schematically, it's one of, if not the worst in the entire National Football League. Obviously, it makes you look at Nathaniel Hackett. But Nathaniel Hackett has been a guy that Aaron Rodgers relied upon when Aaron Rodgers was being bu busy being great in Green Bay. So he can't anticipate that his Achilles is going to give out on the fourth play of the game. What he's saying is, for me to do what I do, this is what I need. And if I do what I do, then we ain't going to look like you've customarily huh. looked throughout history. And I'm saying that makes sense. So I understand where Canty is coming from. Please don't get me wrong. He's not necessarily wrong on its face. But you got to take those things into consideration when you're looking at Aaron Rodgers and thinking about why he is the way that he is with the New York Jets and why the Jets capitulate to it. They don't have no damn choice. What, what have about, they done to refute him? What about the Joe Flacco point that they couldn't bring in Joe Flacco because of him and then look what Nobody, he did at Cleveland without you, Deshaun Watson? You can say what you want. Nobody expected Joe Flacco to look the way he looked in Cleveland. Nobody expected that. That's that was true. a surprise. That's true. He was on his couch for a reason. Literally. You home on your couch for a reason. I mean, it's 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 a bunch of weeks in a season, and nobody gave you a call. You're home laying on your couch watching soap operas or whatever the hell else you're watching because nobody was interested in Molly, you being their quarterback. They, Molly, Joe Flacco was with the Jets, and he looked awful when he was with the Jets. Mike White played the best of any Jets quarterback in recent years, so that's, that's right. how bad. And that's all you got to say. Listen. When we talk about Aaron Rodgers, forget Aaron Rodgers for a second. Let's go down and list of some of the quarterbacks in Jets history, the Mark Sanchez of the world. I mean, you know, he Matt White of the world. Yeah, 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 yeah we understand. So but the point Mark, is that the Richard Todd, Geno okay, Smith. Okay, okay. I mean, come on, y'all. And then you go from all of that to Aaron Rodgers? You damn right you're going to sit back and go like this. Let, let, let me get the brother what he wants. I'm glad you, you need a massage. You need, you need a pedicure, too. Yo, what do you need? So what do you need? It, can't we'll do what you want. Canty's rant should not have actually been directed at Aaron Rodgers. It should have been directed at Robert Sala and Joe Douglas from the standpoint of, okay, you brought this guy in, but you shouldn't have given him that much power as far as bringing in Nathaniel Hackett, a guy who literally just does whatever. But they had to. I, yeah, how about, I'm not the, yeah, with how about I'm the Nathaniel saying, Hackett point? I'm saying but that you, Chris should have addressed the people who brought in Aaron, not 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 Aaron himself. Okay, like, but I will, I will say, but I will say this: Nathaniel the whole Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett thing. Yeah. Nathaniel Hackett was there when Aaron Rodgers was winning MVPs. That's right. So that's, that's why. Say. That's why. That's why. But see, if you're the quarterback, you like okay. In order so for you, him, you you trust in you got to capitulate. I'm just wondering: get, do you do you believe in Nathaniel Hackett? I believe in Aaron Rodgers. Right. The answer is Aaron Rod no. Aaron Rodgers. I believe in Aaron no. Rodgers. You're Rod evading the question. I Aaron believe in Rod Aaron Rodgers. This okay. is going to be That's Aaron nice Rodgers. This is going to be Aaron Rodgers' show. This is going to be Aaron Rodgers' show. Aaron Rodgers is the OC. That's why. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Hey, I, don't hey, I don't mind saying that. Hey,